For this week's episode of Caleb's Journal, we'd like to introduce you to our mother, Lida. Mum's always been in the background and has been great help and supporter for us in getting Caleb's journal put together. And Mum's this year just written down some of her own thoughts. And when she shared them with us, we thought, well, you know, it's a good place also to share this with you, our listeners at Caleb's Journal, so that you can get a bit of an insight as to what's happening here with Mum um, and behind the scenes. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our Mum leader, and um, she's going to share with you some of her thoughts from 2022. This year, 2022, my verse was First Chronicles 10.31. Whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. I had to trust my Heavenly Father in everything. To be able to put in practice the verse above. Also, I experienced dry spells in my walk this year. But the saying what kept me going was Psalm 1, 2 till 4, which tells me that what, wherever my life is planted on or in, that is where I draw my strength from. And during the year, my strength came from the Word and to trust in Father's faithfulness by reading and meditation on all the Psalms. I broke my ankle on 15 December 2021. It was a difficult lesson to learn. Patience, acceptance and gratitude. Halfway through this year, my attention was drawn to Psalm 147, 10. It says that our Father taketh no pleasure in the legs of men. That is a very hard saying. Pondering on this about the fruits of the flesh, studying human nature, compared with the fruits of the spirit, I came to see that our way is in opposition to our Father. It is a difficult road when you want to hold fast to what you know and on your own ego. But when you come to see that you really what you really are and get rid of it, you will be set free and become a part of the body of Christ. All difficulties are worth it to come at this point in your life. I can't tell you what it is. You have to experience it for yourself. We all are aware that we are in a time of transition. We all are looking for a new way. We ponder on it, talk about it with different people that we are coming in contact with. Looking for his way, a different way of thinking and praying for a new mindset. Not what we know, but to look at things in the way of Yeshua. How we walk and spoke the word. Through, the, through his word, our mind is changing. It is a process. And when we start to walk in the new way, we experience a different way. And another way of looking at the things around us. And slowly the mind of Christ and our Father will become a part of us. By praying and asking for a new mind and heart, Father's Spirit will work in us. By His grace, it will be given to us. What is our part in this? We have to believe that a change will happen. And we have to listen to the voice inside of us. When we read and study His word and walk in what Father is revealing to us, how can we know what we hear is actually from Him? Because it will always agree with His word. And inside you will feel a peace and can say Amen. Also this year we spoke a lot about vision. We have to have the same vision, then we are strong and powerful. I read in Philippians 4.4, 4, Always be full of joy in the Lord. Paul had a PMA, a positive mental attitude. He couldn't control his environment, but he chose an attitude that enabled him to overcome it. A lesson for us to learn how hard or difficult it sometimes is, never lose sight of the word of God. Also, we spoke about community and what is true fellowship. 
Fanny spoke about it on the Caleb's Journal. These are still two points we have to pray about and work on it um, in the new way, how to put it into practice. I came to see by speaking the word of God, it is building up the new way. Words heal, strengthens and gives joy and peace. By speaking the word of God, we see Father's faithfulness working in our life. Then we can praise and speak the word for the healing of our people. Thank you. This was part of my journey for 2022.